Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you two sites. One is Moodle 3.11.6, and the other is Moodle 4.0. This one is Moodle 4.0, Wow, this one is Moodle 3.11. You don't see the difference on the outside. I'm in as the admin, so I'll take you through. Let's go through 3.11. If you're familiar with 3.11, you should recognize most of the things as the admin. Notice that uh, on this particular site, the theme is Advisor MUI, and it's also Advisor MUI here even though REM UI has not upgraded their theme to 4.0. But nonetheless, it works pretty well, except for one thing, and I'll be able to show you that in a minute. All right, so let's go to 3.11.6. We're going to go to a website, or actually to a course, called Moodle MOOC 22. Yes, Moodle MOOC started in 2013, and now we're in 2022. All right, so uh, notice right now only one person has enrolled, but uh, enrollment only started today, so we've got a bit of time uh, before we end the uh, registrations. All right, so let me show you what you will see here. All right, so we'll turn editing on at the top right there so you get an idea of what it looks like. And this is what it looks like, pretty much the same. Add a block and you get a chance to see all the blocks. Okay, here they are. And then we'll close that. Next, we're going to look at the left. Notice what's at the left. Okay, you've got your, there we go, site navigation. And then we've got course navigation and then my courses and so on course content and then down here on the left are the icons for the editor of uh, advisor and ui what else can i show you here well i can take you to the editor which is quite different notice the edit settings if i go into that this is what i will see a pretty familiar you'll recognize it whether you're using another theme or not I'm going to go through it open up everything just as i would on any other theme all right these are okay let's uh, just uh, go back and then we'll stop the editor but before we do yes we can stop the editor let's turn editing off notice where the turn editing off is now I'm going to scroll down okay and go into uh, well into one forum in this case the support forum and you can see what it looks like okay that's more or less what it looks like with the editor on the right and you're all familiar with the various editors for the activities as well as for the course blocks and so on all right now we're going to go to Moodle 4.0 oh, and we're going to go into a course we'll choose uh, this particular course okay here it comes okay notice um, this course is not active right now there aren't any participants the turn editing on is in the same place and uh, notice the settings look the same but if i go into settings notice what i see here all right let's scroll down and notice the difference arrows <laughs> lots of arrows all right so if you're not familiar with the new moodle 4.0 there are arrows okay so arrows to the right and so on if i click on that it opens up notice appearance opens up with arrows which is a little bit different everything else is exactly the same so no need to worry about that let's go back to 
the main course page. Notice I'm using the same course format, which is also the same. The icons for the activities are not the same. So let me turn editing on here so you can get to see what they look like. They're completely different. I'm sure you don't recognize these because they don't look the same. And notice we're at an activity or resource. It's now on the left where it used to be. If you recall, it was on the right. So this is a change. Let me go back to Moodle 3.11.6 so you can see the difference. If I go into the support here, okay, this is what it looks like. But if I go into, let me turn editing on, into the activities, turn editing on. Notice Boost is slightly different too. So if you're not using a theme and you're using Boost and you're advised to, to upgrade to uh, Boost first, upgrade uh, your theme to Boost or change it to Boost and then simply uh, install or upgrade to Moodle 4.05. Add an activity. Notice the add an activity is on the right. And now it's on the left. Now this takes a bit of getting used to if you're used to finding things in a certain place. So this has changed. But not only notice where the edits are. They're just under your URL in this case and the form. And notice what's on the right. Okay, same thing. No difference with these three dots, but they appear as three dots. Let's go in to add a new activity or resource. Notice the icons are completely different. And if your Zoom meeting icon disappeared in 3.11.6 plus with their upgrades, don't be alarmed. It'll be back in 4.0. Everything else looks the same. Um, I love, I love Simple Certificate. It's old, but it's still there. Notice Google Meet, Group Choice, Hot Question, Debate, still have the same checklist and diary still have the same old and interactive content and pchat yeah there are a few uh, mini lesson poodle skype there are a few that still have the same icons but more or less you'll notice with the resources specifically except for google meet uh, and label which is the same page but yeah there are a few differences secure url now some of these will have to be upgraded hopefully um the developers will upgrade the plugins. Right now, that might cause an issue, so be careful. I want to take you to another site, a Boost, where you get a chance to see what it looks like on Boost because there aren't any problems there. I wanted to talk to you about a problem here uh, with uh, themes that haven't been upgraded to uh, Moodle 4.0 and are still with Moodle 3.11. There are some problems, and this is the main problem. Notice Home site administration search you don't have all of the uh, top menu here but let me take you to a moodle site called blended online learning it's on boost okay with everything at the top of course and then if you click on that here are the settings of the course okay instead of going to the side somewhere they're right here in front of you at the top really really nicely laid out participants list at the top, not the sides, you know, only at the top. And I think that's a huge improvement reports. And then more, this is for a teacher uh, to manage a course or a manager of a course, doesn't really matter. Great layout. Let's go back to the course. Okay, so this is the course. And notice under the course, it's all in the middle, even though there is a right here for the tab for the blocks but notice you don't have to add the blocks on the left at the bottom where it used to be or at the top with uh, rem ui theme i hope they also fix this notice where it is exactly where the blocks appear which is absolutely amazing right here where you can add the blocks and here is the list of bla blocks as they were before you just need to add them so that's really really convenient great improvement uh, anything else? Well, badges. Okay, so let's go into the course settings and where are the badges? All right. Uh, they're generally not under courses. They're under more and they're all here, right? One under the other. I really like this. Okay, the course completion is the same. The badges, uh, you'll be able to find them here. Filters and so on. Really, really easy to access and nice. 
let's go to the site administration notice under site administration it's all as it was but nothing on the left and i really like that i prefer things um, as they are on boost so i highly recommend using boost right now unless the other theme developers um, you know come up with better um, looking and easy to manage Moodle themes. So thank you everyone. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to add them in the comments box below and subscribe. Have a great day and happy Moodling. I know I will be enjoying my Moodle. I always do.